Welcome to The Coaching Table. I'm Thomas Thompson, Leadership Coach with Lead Self, Lead Others. And The Coaching Table is a weekly experience I've created to help leaders like you have the conversations that you're not having so you can keep your story moving forward. Now today you can see I'm sitting at a different table. I'm actually sitting at my son's desk because the other day we were cleaning out his room and we found this. It's a resolution from the state of Texas by State Representative Elvira Reina from District 101. Let me read a part of it to you. Resol resolved, whereas memories of a life filled with many joyful times and meaningful accomplishments may comfort the family and friends of Patrick Sammons Thompson of Dallas, who passed away on June 19th, 2006 at the age of 33. And then it goes on to list some of his accomplishments in life and just scanning through this, that's what this document is. You find out that he graduated from high school. He excelled as an athlete. He was, was recruited to play a year of football at Midwestern State University. He transferred to Baylor University where he joined a fraternity and helped them win three float championships. He drew, he drew great strength and sustenance from his faith, from his involvement in his church where he was a Sunday school teacher, a, a singles ministry staff person. He was spurred by life. He pursued art, business, ministry, sales, camp counseling. He even started a company called Patty Grams that sold candy whose labels were made by kids with cancer. One of his proudest moments was getting to carry the Olympic torch during part of its journey in the 2002 Winter Olympics. That's pretty impressive to think that in a, in a mere 33 years of life, my brother was able to accomplish so much and have such an impact on so many people. You know, I've had at least five conversations with people this week who are wondering, am I really living the life that I would love? Am I really living for what matters? Dallas Willard tells a great story about being at the dog races down in Florida and watching these dogs chase the electric rabbit around the track. You know how that they do. And one day he said that the electric rabbit broke down and the dogs did something that had never happened before. They caught the rabbit. They were sniffing at it. They were growling at it. They were snapping at it. They were biting each other. They, they were totally confused because they finally caught the thing they were chasing for and it didn't satisfy them. I think a lot of people chase after a lot of things in life, and it might be a relationship, it might be a position, it might be a financial uh, goal, and they finally get that thing and they realize, is this really what satisfies me? And this is why Dallas Willard comes to this conclusion. We all need a rabbit that won't break down. Isn't that good? We all need a rabbit that won't break down. I think the reason that my brother's life, though it was short, was full is because he chased rabbits that wouldn't break down. Here's a hint as you're thinking about your rabbit. It's got to be something that transcends you. So here's your coaching table question for this week. What is the rabbit you are chasing that won't break down? I'd love you to take that question with you. What is the rabbit you're chasing that won't break down? And as you take that question with you, let's have a conversation about that. As you're praying through that or talking through with your family or friends or your own leadership coach, uh, respond to me on this. Let's have a conversation. Scroll down and click on my email and shoot me a, a quick note or scroll up and send me a video like this and let's have a chat back and forth. What rabbit are you chasing that won't break down? I'll be back next Monday with another conversation about leading ourselves well. And until then, you're always welcome at the coaching table.